Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Um, I'm going to attempt to make a big batch of the cloud mix, but I'm going to try and do a minimalistic one like I did the other day. I did this one. And I really like it. Now, yesterday I played around and um, there were several different things I did here. I pulled some paint through with my palette knife and there were some areas here that weren't selling, so I blew on them and that's what I ended up with. So anyhow, I'm gonna try and mix up a big batch. And this is another one I did. It was a, a dump and swirl. Um, but it sells up on the corners here. I don't know. The thing is, it dried so beautifully. It's completely felt flat. And I think I'm going to pour over this one to see um, just as a, a another practice. So, I mean, this isn't horrible, but uh, there's a lot of uh, colors in it. And the metallics didn't seem to sell as much as I thought they would. Anyhow, so I'm going to take... I'm gonna try and fill this bottle up. I'm gonna take my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic and I'm gonna fill it to eight ounces. These are really handy dandy. They come from um, Home Depot. So I'm gonna fill it to this line here. It's a lot of paint. And that's eight ounces. Now, I'm gonna take my Deco Art Americana, Satin Enamels, Pure White. This is an eight ounce um, jar. However, I don't think, I think that's gonna be a little bit too strong. So this is about three quarters full. I'm gonna dump the whole thing in there. Let me get a stir stick here. I'm gonna need this anyways. trying not to get any chunks in there because I notice that there's the dried paint around the edges. You gotta be careful of that. And sometimes you end up with this, that along the edges here too. So you gotta be careful. Do, 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 do. So once I mix this up, I am going to try it out with you. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to make some adjustments. So this is almost half and half. I live near, <laughs> you hear sirens all the time. I live near a fire station and I'm not quite sure where the police station is either, but um, it seems like there's sirens going on here all the time and it's, it's not a bad neighborhood really. So you really wanna mix this up good. And because it's white and white, you don't know like if it's a color and white, you can tell. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. So I have oh, I'm almost, I have about 12 ounces. I have about 12 ounces. So basically I think that was like two to one. Artist Loft Flow White Acrylic to half of the Deco Art Satin Enamels. Now, I'm gonna put my, see it stands right up. <laughs> All right. Now I want to put, let's see, I gotta make sure it's right at 12 ounces here. 12. I'm gonna put another 12 ounces of the Floetrol. Brand new. Always strain it. All right, there we go. Now that's 24 ounces. What the heck is that? Where'd that come from? Oh, and look at it. Isn't this lovely? This came out of my flood flow trawl, my brand new one. So there's a, a good reason to um, strain. 
Now let's mix this up. Now I usually put a little bit of pouring medium in here. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to use this, but it's not as much as you think you need. You don't need a whole lot of it. Like I am going to measure it out for you. So I have 24 ounces of paint here. Mix, mix, mix. I have, this is a five ounce cup. I'm gonna fill it halfway. Maybe not even halfway, this is a brand new. Gotta take the top off, Michelle. Michaels is having a sale on paints and, and mediums. And that includes golden. And um, it's buy one, get one half off. So even this was on sale. So, okay. That's plenty. That's probably even way too much. But we are mixing a big batch, so. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up. And the rest is gonna be water. And we're gonna need a lot of water. Now, what I did the other day um, to get the most out of my, my paint, I put water in here, so it's like a water Artist Flow mixture. God, I hope this works. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put some in a little bit at a time. So we want this really thin and runny. Make sure you Wipe your stick off and get your sides and bottom, just like you would with resin, I guess. Which I'm gonna do a resin video pretty soon. I'm due. I just got some birch panels in the other day and I'm dying to do an ocean wave on them. are partying <laughs> so that was 24 ounces this is going to take it right to the top guys if not um, I might have to even put this in a different container I'm actually going to put a squirt of GAC 800 in it too just for just for giggles just so that my paint doesn't crack now yesterday I did a painting, it was beautiful, but I mistook the GAC 800 for the Floetrol. So I thought I was putting Floetrol in my paints and I was putting GAC 800 and it split. There we go, just a little bit. GAC 800 really helps with cracking, but I gotta tell you with this, um, technique. The paints are so thin, they dry beautifully. Still thick. I might just put that in this. I've got an empty um, Liquitex pouring medium bottle. I took the, I'm going to have to la label it. Let me do that right now while we're speaking. Cloud mix. Okay. And I might have to just thin it out as I go. I have a couple of large canvases I want to try this on, but I'm, I'm taking baby steps. More water. Thank you. 
All right, it's getting really full. So what I'm gonna do is transfer this mixture into this bottle with this. And then, so actually, let me see here. That was 24 ounces. So I don't know what it is. Oh, it's 24 ounces and this is a quart. So, oh, bugs, bugs love paint. Um, because right to the top, it's it can't be 24 ounces. Right to the top would be a quart, I would think. So, you want any kind of measurement to this? This is what we've got so far. All right, experiments. All right, where's the lid to this? I know that, oh wait, it's right there. There we go. So this is 32 ounces full. Well, it's 32 ounces to here. clean this out and see if this is the right consistency. Make sure it's dry so we've got a good indicator here. All right, I'm going to pour this out into here and see if the consistency is right. That's it, guys. That's it. I can feel it with my stick. That's it. It's going right in. No trace. Now, let's see if this works. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut you off for right now. Pour this back in here. Well, no, I can actually leave it out. So I've gotta mix up some paints and I will be back to test this out. Okay guys, I had you on time-lapse, but I actually had the ceiling on time-lapse. I can't believe it. Oh, why didn't I check it? This has turned out pretty cool. I added some lines down here and in here. And I'm, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Put three colors in here. And some. I think if I do a monochromatic and then add color to it later, it might turn out better. But I'm not crying, that's for sure. Anyhow, I'm gonna actually take you down with uh, the lights off. All right, guys, here it is. Pretty cool. I added those lines in. Not as much selling and webbing as the first one I did. Well, actually the second. But um, I'm happy with it. I think I might do a monochromatic on uh, 20 by 20 now and then add color. Talk to you later. I'm gonna do another test. This time, um, the last painting I did, it was a little bit thick, and I want you to see, this is still leaving a tiny little trace. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, 
I still have to add a little bit of water. I can't leave a trace at all. That's how it worked for me before. So when I mixed up that big batch, I wasn't able to put enough water in it. So, which is fine because I can add water. It's hard to take it out. <laughs> there we go. That's still leaving a trace. All right. Water is our friend. And no, I don't use any particular kind of water, just tap water. Let me see here. Still leaving a tiny bit of a trace. I'm glad I have a couple of test canvases here because I do want to do this on a, a big canvas. I did one, well, I have yet to post it. There it is. That's it. And it goes right back in. No trace. All right. Let's flood this canvas. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, Satin enamels is really hard to get off of these, these silicone mats, just to let you know. Um, I spent quite a bit of the day cleaning them outside. So I'm gonna actually do another one with colors. And then, oh, I see something right there. It's, yeah, it's a chunk. And then I'm going to on a large scale, a monochromatic. I might go purple this time. Yeah, this has to flow quite a bit. And there's bubbles in it. I might put just a little bit more on, especially on the corners. Yeah, it's hard to get off your hands too, by the way. I am out of gloves. Either that or they're hiding on me. So I need to order some more. All right, this time I'm gonna try a puddle pour. I've never, like I said, this is all new to me, but I'm really intrigued. So I'm gonna start with a little, no. This is the consistency of my paint. Goes right in. And that is a bunch of purples. Uh, don't ask me right now. This one needs a little bit more water. Just a couple drops. These are like two ounce cups, so I'm trying not to put too much color on it. There we go, that's better. And I have some Extreme Sheen, 24 karat. And there we go. I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the purple on the bottom. And then, this is pink tourmaline. And then, the gold, I love the pink tourmaline or any kind of magenta next to a gold. All right, so let's try and tilt this. I'm actually, what the heck, it's not gonna hurt. Kind of like a Dutch pour. <laughs> All right, let's tilt this around.
All right, guys, this one took a bit of a turn. <laughs> I didn't see any cells coming up, so I decided to put down some more um, cloud mix and I blew it out with my blow dryer and got some amazing cells and effects. And I did, I can't stop. Look at that cluster right there, isn't that cute? And I kept, I put uh, a few enhancements in there. This almost looks 3D. The white in the front and then the gold in the back and the purple, so cool. So it didn't turn out the way I expected it to, but I'm kind of liking it. And this was just a test, so I'm trying to figure out what reacts and what doesn't, and I'm still testing things out. Thanks for watching. Be safe and create.